Okay, we're going to have a look at two different data logs. Uh, this is from our car, these time slips. Um, so this is the car here. And what else have we got? We've got this one here. So our fastest uh, mile an hour there. So 148.32 mile an hour. So that's the data log that we're going to have a look at. Um, so the car here weighed in at uh, 4,382 pounds and was the uh, stock bottom end in the VF uh, GDS with the 1900 LSA blower. So it had ported heads, you know, cam obviously. Uh, it was only our stage one interchiller kit and it was only fitted with our 1.7 gallon reservoir. So here we're looking at the data log. Um, this line here is pedal position. Uh, this green line here is road speed and here's RPM, and then over here we can see IAT, IAT2. So after the burnout here, uh, again, stage one kit with only the 1.7 gallon reservoir, so a little bit warmer than what we get now. We obviously get a fair bit colder than this. Uh, so we've heated it up after the burnout. It's 59 degrees here just prior to the run, and then we can watch IAT2. So as soon as we get into the throttle there, you can see here you are going up to max throttle now. RPM's going up, road speed's going up, intake air temperature's climbing, and then finish line's probably, I'd say, around, around there somewhere, and we've crossed the finish line at 109 degrees. Um, so that's a really good result. Um, intake air temps are obviously kept very low. That's kept the ignition timing in it the whole run. Obviously, it's got extra ignition timing as well because of the low intake air temps. Uh, like I said, that's a factory LSA intercooler pump. So that's a really good uh, result on what our intake air temperatures did on that particular car. Then we have another data log here. This is from a customer's car who's also running a mid-9. Um, now he's fitted with an EMP intercooler pump and a slightly larger reservoir. So his starting temperature is also very similar. Uh, 52 degree IAT. And then... Obviously gets into the throttle, and our finish line's probably around here somewhere. Um, and he's obviously finished with an 88 degree intake air temperature too. Um, so very, very good result with the addition of the EMP pump, and obviously the larger reservoir, which is keeping the temperatures down. So obviously our goal under wide open throttle is to be passing a constant temperature of fluid through the supercharger, which will result in the coldest possible temperature. So in this case, he's probably got a 30 degree uh, fluid temperature and he's been able to supply a 30 degree fluid for the entire pass, you know, keeping intake air temps as cold as physically possible because the intercooler is at 30 degrees. Um, so that is a fantastic result there. Uh, his mile an hour is slightly out here. Well, obviously he doesn't have a tire calculator um, added into his tune. I think he trapped about 145 from memory. Um, but yeah, all in all, really good result there. Showing what our intake air temperatures are, um, you know, obviously before the run, after the burnout, and then on the finish line. Um, again, both temperatures can actually be even colder than this uh, with stage two. So this was a stage one, and the other one was also a stage one, but with uh, undersized reservoir. So the reservoir wasn't big enough, and this was using the factory LSA intercooler pump. If we had have been using the faster EMP and a larger reservoir, that temperature would be lower again. Uh, but all in all, really good result. Intake air temps, obviously, you know, low majority of the, the run. So there's a whole bunch of igni extra ignition timing there. Colder, denser air charge, more oxygen, more horsepower, and... Uh, consistency so this car as well we did back-to-back -back runs um, if we go here to our time slips I think it was this one you know we did a whole bunch of nine second passes uh, that particular day it's hard to see um, but you can see them there. they're all nines 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 over and over again and they're all like 147 147 I can't see that now it's 147.7 yeah, 147.73, 147.78, 148.32. Uh, we're struggling for traction. Uh, this particular day, the car wasn't hooking at this track, uh, but obviously the mile an hour was there. 
yeah, the weight of the cars there. You can see it's making big power. We're spinning the crap out of the blower. Um, you can see over here as well, the boost pressure, 203 kPa. I think the other car's pretty similar as well. Yeah, 208 kPa. So very similar and uh, making you know plenty of boost out of the 1900 and um, keeping intake air temps really nice and low. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we can go into a bit more depth. Thank you.